Hey everybody, how are you doing? This is Ken Jobst with a closer look and today we're going to be taking a closer look at Pastor's message entitled Final Destination. It's the last in his series on the 23rd Psalm which is entitled A Personal Verse for a Public Virus. The verse that we're going to take a look at uh, today, actually it's a half a verse, it, it's the last half of verse 6 and it says this, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Now, this is a, a psalm that begins and ends with the Lord. It begins, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. And it ends with, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Now, uh, the final destination has to do with where do we go when we die? And so this is a, a psalm that is considering the question of death. And it turns out there are basically only three different ways of understanding, you know, our, our destiny in terms of death. There are three popular understandings. The first is an understanding that's called annihilation. Annihilationism says that when you're dead, you're done, that that's all there is to it. Uh, there's no afterlife, there's no heaven, there's nothing like that. It's just you live a life, you die, you're done with it. Uh, pastor said that at a, an annihilationist funeral, what they would do is pass out peppermints. You get to taste the peppermint, it dissolves in your mouth, it's sweet for a while, and then it's over. Ba-boom, ba-bing, you're done. But my question is, why would God have made us just to destroy us? Right? It doesn't make sense. When you create something, you create them with a purpose. Annihilationism doesn't stand up to that. So annihilationism mm, doesn't make a lot of sense to me. The, the second approach, annihilationism is number one, the second approach is the notion of reincarnation. And in the scheme of reincarnation, the idea is that you, you live a life, you die out of it, and then you are recycled back into a life where you're supposed to fix whatever it was that you messed up in your last life. But here's the catch. You never get to remember your previous life. So how am I supposed to fix something I don't even remember what happened in my previous life? But, but the idea is you just get reincarnated and reincarnated and reincarnated over and over and over. Uh, you know, mm, I don't know. That the idea is that you, you need to pay in this life or fix in this life whatever it is that you messed up in another life. So um, just the notion that, well, if I can't remember, how am I supposed to fix it, right? And then if I, I just keep getting reincarnated, what's the point of that? Then you're just like a gerbil on the wheel, right? So... I, I don't buy annihilationism. I don't buy reincarnation. That leaves continuation or resurrection. And resurrection says the best is yet to come. So of, of those three possible positions on death, annihilationism, reincarnation, or continuation, that your life actually begins. And as a matter of fact, it's the knowledge of our death that should give focus and energy to our living. So take a look at this psalm very quickly, this very last half of a verse, and you're going to see three big things. First of all is the certainty of heaven. I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Not that I might or I hope to. No, I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The certainty of heaven. We see the company of heaven. Who are you going to be with in heaven? It's the house of the Lord. I will be with Jesus in heaven. So the certainty of heaven, the company of heaven, and then the constancy of heaven. How long will I be there? Forever. You know what? Green pastures don't last forever. Still waters don't last forever. You know, oh, my cup is overflowing. Might not last forever. But to dwell in the house of the Lord is forever. That's the certainty, the company, and the constancy of heaven. Hey, it's been great to uh, be with you. God bless everybody on the squad. Hope to see you soon and stay safe and God bless you. We'll talk again soon.